Hello and welcome back to Transport Fever 2. Today was supposed to be a new series, but I was duped by the uh, store page of the Deluxe DLC. I was expecting Railway Empire-esque scenarios, like structured content where you'd have goals, tasks sort of thing. Didn't have to be much. I wasn't expecting any narration or anything like that. And I certainly wasn't expecting anything fancy. But I was hoping there would be a little more than just maps because that didn't make much sense at all. You get three maps, just maps, fairly small. One in arid, one in this uh, green setting and also one in the tropical setting. Yeah, not what I was expecting at all, so I'm now scrambling to figure out what the uh, next series is going to be. We are back in the the series, <laughs> because that's all I've got. We, c we are going to take a look at the three maps briefly uh, before we go, and then I'll leave you with a, I guess, the express on this one. I know some of you may feel like I'm about to give Urban a hard time, or are giving Urban a hard time. That isn't the case. I would actually recommend the content creators pack, roughly. That's pretty much what it is. If uh, you were thinking Skylines, it's priced somewhere between one of those content creator packs and one of the major expansions. So it kind of works. Yeah, I would recommend it. Quick history lesson. In fact, the briefest history lesson in the history of history lessons Train Fever was released in 2014, the, the start of the franchise, and two years later, Transport Fever was released in 2016. Three years later, and uh, we're here. Transport Fever 2 was released in 2019, uh, December of 2019, so uh, September this year will be nine years old. And this was the first paid for DLC ever released by Urban. So, for me, who has played it for thousands of hours across the entire franchise, I I can't begrudge parting with ten dollars. Or but it was on it's on sale. I think I missed out on that, but it's on sale for eight dollars right now. Up until the sixteenth, I believe. I'd have to double check that. But anyway, yes, uh, I won't get into the the elephant in the room which is the timed dlc sort of bonus thing that you get that is a mess i don't like the way they've done that uh, especially on pc might work fantastic in fact will work fantastic on console but for pc it really doesn't work as we have workshop support and that means if you like me have the time limited dlc sharing maps becomes a problem because you'll require the dlc so yeah it's a bit of a mess but i'm not against the dlc or the the creators pack it's just got a weird name hasn't it it shouldn't have really been called the deluxe edition more like the console pack or something so uh, you didn't get uh, your hopes up on the flip side most of the update that came to consoles release is free. Everybody got it. So it swings in roundabouts on that one. I was chatting with you guys, uh, a few of you guys, on Twitter when I posted my thoughts about the uh, DLC. And uh, an interesting question came up. What if the updated vehicles were part of the DLC instead and they were not free? I mean, everything else had to be in there, like the uh, the new rendering and stuff. But if those upgraded vehicles weren't free, it would give more weight to the DLC. It would certainly be worth more. And uh, would people be more happy? I feel like it would be kicking a hornet's nest and, and anybody who uh, wanted the update for free would be a little miffed, perhaps, as it would sort of force them <laughs> to buy in the DLC instead. So, I mean, they've done us a favour there, haven't they? they? They have given us all of those for nothing, all the reworks. Obviously, you don't get the vehicle packs, but uh, as I mentioned briefly earlier, 
there is a workshop on PC, so not a big deal at all. Now, talking of uh, the vehicles, the upgraded vehicles, I was scratching my head, wasn't I, towards the end of the series, or perhaps it was, yeah, it was the in the finale when we was looking at the upgraded models. Not all vehicles have been treated equally. Uh, I went back and, and I loaded up a map with just the DLC and stuff, so all reset, making sure no mods are getting involved. And some of the vehicles have not been upgraded. They still have the rubbish interiors and they are still the old models. And some vehicles have been removed, technically. You now need to uh, enable a legacy vehicle pack mod uh, by Urban Games. So yeah, which include the vehicles that are never gonna see an upgrade. I'm hoping they just misjudge the, how long it's going to take them to do it. And the ones that have been left in the game by default, I know, it's confusing. It's confusing. This is what we're dealing with. So I'm hoping they get upgraded over the, with updates or whatever because they're not part of the Legacy Pack, but they're not as good <laughs> as the new ones. So yes, that's where we stand on the, uh, the vehicles and the updates. This is just going to be a short video. This is... This was supposed to be the start of the uh, scenario. I wasn't expecting much. If you look at Railway Empire scenarios, a lot of them are just deliver X or get city to grow to whatever. And that's it, or produce certain amount. They have the tools in Transport Fever already to mimic that somewhat. And that's what I was expecting. And it would have been a fun little uh, trilogy series where we could have played each scenario on each map. That isn't the case, obviously. So I'm now trying to figure out what I'm going to do. One suggestion in the comments was a playthrough where I get some achievements. We have one to get, or I have one to get, because I haven't been cheating. I haven't been. <laughs> I didn't enable the uh, get achievements mod uh, with mods. So I do have the play up until i think it's 2050 with all trains that's one thing we could do and uh, a few other train related ones like have 10 trains on the line and the one where they got to face off at each other uh, which is quite easy to achieve so that's one possibility and we could of course play on one of the three maps or we could play all of them and, and set off with a, a task of uh, getting the achievements legitimately uh, there have been a few issues which is another reason i don't want to really get into something meaty right now broken ui issues although you can't see the ui at the moment you will see it when we go in and take a look at the other maps but uh, i always record in 2k and then i let my editing software do the extra anti-aliasing when i render it to uh, upload it to youtube the only way you can use it at the moment UI on 100%. Some people can't even load the game. Uh, it's crashing, but I think that's down to mods more than anything. Uh, some people, though, have needed to change from Vulkan to OpenGL. I don't know whether they're new players or whatnot. So, uh, it, it's it's got some teething issues. Right, should we go and take a look at the maps? This is the first map that uh, we're looking at today and it's a uh, vast valley which is uh one of the 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 maps included in the content creators pack yeah that's what i'm going to call it it's not a dlc upgraded to deluxe edition that doesn't make any sense uh it's a small map isn't it it seems small anyway it's not the largest of maps and uh it's definitely not a scenario uh, for me a scenario include stuff to do and uh, it's all right it's a, it's a small map isn't it it's lovely enough it just would have been great to have something to do in it uh structured but uh yeah one map down it's uh, there's not much to look at is there i didn't realize quite how small these are i mean i don't go overly crazy with the size of my maps but uh yeah a oh, not nice flat area to build down there, isn't there? Not really lending itself to aircraft the most. These maps, they're all this size, I believe. 
you're not going to stretch your legs much in these um, it's got a bit of water for you I mean I say it's small once you zoom down it's actually quite big but in comparison to other size maps this is is fairly fairly tiny uh, did they plan on having scenarios or did they run out of time and they just ditched the scenario side of things or couldn't figure out how to get it into the game maybe but uh, given how old the series is you would expect us to see a transport beaver 3 soon or at least an announcement that's what i'm hoping anyway i find it's better that way don't you it's better than the barrage of dlcs and content packs um, just start afresh with a new new story mode and whatnot i do like that anyway should we go and take a look at another map and this one is curvy canyon an arid setting i don't think i've ever recorded a playthrough on uh, one of the dry arid maps have i it's the same size isn't it as what we just looked at yeah not much going on do like it though it's kind of a challenge i'm not sure whether it was handcrafted much it does look a little bit like uh, the seeded generated maps maybe uh, i think there's been a little bit of work done hasn't there they're not quite this uh, this tidy i'm hoping so anyway i I've, I've not really looked at the the industry placements whether they're randomly generated or curated you would hope curated wouldn't you uh, there should be no well there should be one close to close to a city that it requires yeah they've got a lot more farms i think unless that's a fix there was never the right amount of farms uh, for food industries they do have their end products don't they right next to town yeah do you know i've I do like just playing them, but uh, you could have had like deliver, I don't know, X amount of. Oh, that's broken, isn't it? Lieben Schmitten Flaubarek or something. Um, the farm food processing plant. That's a mouthful. Uh, yeah, you had to like deliver 30 loaves of bread to Gateshead in by what is the year now? By 1875. Just a little bit of balancing. Could have easily come up with some sort of score system. It's all there. It's all there in the modding setup as well. So I don't know. I don't know. It would have been lovely to uh, go for a score challenge like that. And we could all compare scores and play at the same time. I would love to go away and do one myself. But then that would devour my channel. All my free time is my channel. I don't have any extra free free time. I can't I can't squeeze it in. I'd have to ditch something. I don't want to do that. I enjoy chatting to you guys. But anyway, should we go take a look at the other one? The final uh, tropical setting. And our final one is Boundless Bay, which is rather nice. I will say uh, I kind of like this one. It does look a little more designed than the, the canyon one. Especially this road. I love this road. Yeah, it's like a riverside. Is it a river? Lakeside? Lakeside, isn't it? It's kind of a lake. Oh, it's a bay, isn't it? It's called Boundless Bay Grand. Closing the name. Yeah. A uh, riverside beach. <laughs> it's an island, isn't it? Riverside Island. Yeah, it's kind of nice. Uh, plenty to do with boats on that one and uh, you probably need planes again it's looking like the same size map i can't remember actually what small is yeah this looks almost like it was handcrafted perhaps maybe seeded somewhat and then and then gone over with uh, a bit of love because it looks too tidy to be the generated one but it's kind of lovely isn't it it's a nice little map a uh, tricky one this one uh, i mean the canyon one was tricky and uh, I, I didn't have a, a full look on the european setting one but yeah there we go those are the three maps should we go and get in a train back on the series map and we'll take an in-cab ride 
I know it's not the best interior, but of the uh, the express train, the diesel, and then I'll uh, talk more about what what's planned for that map. There is more to come. All right, guys, we're on board our express service, just leaving Chesapeake, heading for Phoenix, and uh, yeah, there's not quite the end of this map, as I briefly mentioned before we jumped on. Uh, we are going to finish the series with a little mini season uh, where we uh, go into the next era, diesel, diesel electrics and electrics. So yeah, I'll be looking forward to that. Maybe make the the mainline express line uh, electric, possibly, and have uh, some fast trains running through there at some point. But there's a few little bits we can do on this still. And uh, we'll let the dust settle on the the update. Uh, let mods get fixed and the the UI hopefully get fixed as well. But yeah, yeah, it's, uh, I'm not overly disappointed as a whole with the update. It's definitely improved performance for me anyway. And the, uh, the DLC pack, the content creators pack, uh, fine, absolutely. I'm more than happy with it. The only one thing I was really disappointed about is selfishly for my own my own reasons of creating a series was the uh, the terrible wording of scenarios which were actually maps. But uh, other than that, yes, I'm I'm okay with it. It's okay. It's good. It's most of it was free. So you don't have to buy the DLC. How I share maps in the future with the workshop and you guys, it's going to be a bit tricky, isn't it? Because um, I'm now, I've now got to think about who has and hasn't got the DLC, or whether I enable it or not. I, I don't think Urban thought that one through, really. Or they did, and that's a bit cheeky. But anyway, guys, I'll leave you on board this uh, one last time to, for this map in its current form. I have saved it. I will upload it. I don't know how that's going to go. It might be a bit delayed. There might be some teething issues with that too. Um, there already was issues with uploading maps. As So uh, yeah, I'll get around to it. I'll test it out. And once it's done, it'll, it'll be up there. And I'll, I'll make another little video. With, uh, letting you know that it's, uh, it's up and available. Well, I need to go away now. Drop a, an idea in the comments. If we don't want to go modded. We'll leave that alone. It will only cause potential issues. Uh, most mods seem to be okay. Well, this is modded. But uh, we do want to avoid unnecessary issues my end. Because it makes editing and recording a nightmare. I've got to do everything within a certain amount of time. So yes, uh, if we could avoid mods... There's the all train one, which could be d sort of interesting. And if we do it on those really difficult maps, probably the European style one with European vehicles, that might be an idea. As it's the. Well, I don't know. I'll leave it up to you guys. Drop a comment below. Ideas. Because my idea was uh, stamped on by Urban. Anyway. On a happy note, though, I love the update in general and uh, the performance is certainly better which does make me smile and i hope it does you too guys thank you for watching and until next time take care <laughs>